If you like barn finds, you are going to absolutely love this video. This was last taxed in 1994. This is a super, super, super rare car. The Peugeot 205 GTI. Look how clean this car is. That steering wheel. Oh, wow. Look at that. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. So, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I upload a new video every single week from abandoned car collections to mansions to houses to bunkers, anything you can think of really, anything that's worth filming. So today I've come to have a look around a collection of cars. Now the site has been abandoned for a long time and I know the owner was actually into his cars quite a lot. So I'm really, really hoping we're gonna find something special today. So let's go check out this place and see what we can find. Okay guys, so the first vehicle I come across today is a full transit. Is that a J Ridge? Wow, <laughs> she has definitely seen better days this one. Oh my goodness, it is a proper Flintstone car. Look at that. <laughs> oh dear. Look at the state of the wheel arches, look. Dearie me. See here, I've just noticed right, there is a perfect example why these wheel arches do this. If you look here, you can see a build up of mud, which is actually inside. Now what happens is while the, the van's driving, obviously the spray collects inside the wheel arch in places like this and it stays there and it stays wet. So that wet mud is constantly sat against the, the metal work, which eventually rots out. Have a quick look in the back. I doubt there's much in here, to be honest. Yeah, it's just full of rubbish. I'm not even gonna bother going through that. Right, let's go and check out this barn and see what that has. Okay, so we finally made it to the barn and we have found an E Reg Range Rover 1987, I think that is. Sadly, all the windows have been broken, so it's not going to be as in good condition as what it once was. But having said that, it does still look pretty good. I can only imagine that these windows have been broken very recently. Oh wow, look at this wheel! What on earth has that come off? Guys, if any of you know what vehicle that could have come off, just put it in the comments below for me. I'm just looking at the size of that hub. That had to have been a serious, serious car that that came off. Very interesting, that. Oh my goodness, 39,230 miles. Can that be real? Guys, I know you like doing this. If you want to do an MOT history check on this car, See if you can validate that mileage for me. Now, as interesting as this car is, I cannot help but wonder what is in here. This car has been parked in front of the door to stop people getting out whatever's in there. Oh, wow. That's a Peugeot. <gasps> that is a Peugeot 205 GTI. Oh, my God. There are more cars in here. Oh, my God. I am so excited. I can see another car here. <laughs> are you ready for this? Oh my God, wow. 
Oh my God, wow. Okay, so right here, I know for a fact, this is a 2.8 injection Capri. Oh, there's no front seats in there, sadly. The back seats are still in there. Look at the cobwebs in there, oh my God. Oh, sadly, this car has had some damage on the rear quarter. I'm just gonna squeeze past this bicycle. Yes, I was right. Capri 2.8 injection. This is a super, super, super rare car. I mean, all of these cars are. We've got the Mini over here. Um, right, I'm just trying to think of the best way. If I can try and stand on these pallets to take my body weight and stretch over the car. So I'm walking on the pallets. I'm not actually walking on the car. There we go. Okay, so the Mini hasn't got an engine in it. But I have just noticed there are some parts in these boxes and again in here, which makes me wonder, actually, I now know for a fact that this car was being worked on in here. Yeah, we've got more spares in that box there. We've got a carburetor. There's all sorts in there. Oh, wow, this is unbelievable. Look, nobody has even wiped this off to see this yet. This was last taxed in 1994 at the cost of £68.75 for the year. Wow, that is absolutely incredible. I'm gonna have a quick look inside this Mini. Oh, wow. This is incredible. Oh, that's interesting. They actually look like the seats that have come out of the Capri. In fact, I'm gonna put money on it. They are exactly the same seats. They're exactly the same colour, they've got the same stitching. Yeah, absolutely, wow. What's the mileage on the Mini? 89,000. It's actually got like a little homemade dash as well, it's quite neat, I like that. So, the next car, Mark 1 Fiesta. I wonder if the boot's open. It's locked, that's a shame. I mean, look at the amount of dust on these cars. These have been in here for years. Oh, yes, it's open. Oh, wow. God, that is a real, real nice smell. And I'm guessing half of you watching this video right now are gonna know exactly what that smell smells like. Whoa, that's impressive. 229,000 miles on this little car. Wow. To be honest, it's in really, really good condition. And we've got some old cassette tapes here. And we've got some cafe creams, eh? I bet there's none in there. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Do you reckon this was these little school box? And I'm not gonna touch them, but I can see a date on there. Oh my God, 1998. 1998, the date ran out on those condoms. <laughs> That is brilliant. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so we've got one more car to look at. The Peugeot 205 GTI. That is a G-Reg 1989 or 1990, I believe. And again, it's got a sunroof. Oh. Wow, that is really, really rare. Oh my God. This is incredible. Look how clean this car is. That steering wheel. 106,000 miles on the clock on this car. And I'll tell you what, it ain't in bad nick, it really isn't. I'm gonna have a little sit inside. Just remind myself how comfy these chairs are. Oh, wow. And look, the sun visors are like brand new. This is absolutely incredible. I cannot believe I found this car. Wow. I suppose the next thing to do is have a look at the engine. See if the engine's still in there. Yep, it most certainly is. Wow, I mean, this is as good as English barn finds get. 
I mean, the fact that all of these cars are in the same barn, just... I mean, what are the chances of finding these, really? I'm gonna have a jump up on this pallet here, just so you guys can get a better look. Oh, this is amazing, absolutely amazing. So besides the cars, what else have we got in here? I've just noticed there's a balaclava on the floor. Um, I'm not sure what's in these boxes. Okay, they're, um, they're fruit trays. That's interesting. So we've got a spare wheel for the Peugeot over there. I've just noticed there's a crank over there as well. Quite a large one as well. Oh, just hop over the car. Oh, it does appear that it's a lot of the mini mini parts. That's part of the grill. There's a tie bar there. Carburetor and the grill as well. So yeah, this is all from the mini. But this crank is, and I haven't got a clue what that crank's from. If any of you guys recognise that crank and know what it's come from, just says do not touch on there. So yeah, haven't got a clue. But um, if any of you guys do, just drop it in the comments below. There's a gearbox down there as well. Just noticed that on the floor. Okay, wow. <laughs> I don't know if today's going to get any better, but there is actually another barn just behind this one here. So. I'm gonna get out of here and go and check that out and see what we can find in there. Okay, so the second one. Oh my God, and it doesn't disappoint. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, there's another one over there too. Oh, this is so cool. It's Ferguson. I bet these are really, really expensive. Look at the dust on there. Wow, oh my God. This is absolutely incredible. And it has actually got a lumber, lumber plate on the back. Oh, wow, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Sadly, there's no tax disc in there. If there was one in there, it's completely disappeared now. Oh, that's amazing. Right, let's go and check out the other one. I mean, besides the tractors, there is obviously a lot of other stuff in here as well. This, is the original number plate from that blue mini next door. Wow, look at that. Oh, that smell is absolutely amazing. Like I said before in my videos, only a true petrol head would appreciate that smell. Oh my God, there is another one. Oh, wow. You can tell I'm excited, can't you? <laughs> oh, wow, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, this doesn't look as if it's been used for a long time, but it is really, really, really cool. I mean, these are proper barn finds, you know. I watch barn find videos all the time on YouTube, and, and I'll be honest, some of them are, are fake. You know, they're not... They're not real, they're put in the title just to make you watch the video basically to get the views up. But my videos, when I say it's a barn find, it is a real barn find and they don't get any better than this. They really don't. Oh wow, look at this old motocross bike. Oh look, it's a Honda as well. Wow, that's pretty cool. That looks like it could have been from the 80s, possibly. I don't know, if you guys know how old that bike is, or know what model it is, just drop it in the comments below. So we've got some more farm machinery in here. Got some more wheels. Mitsubishi Shogun. Some spanners. And we've got this as well. This is obviously a another piece of farm machinery not sure what that's used for it's quite cool though okay guys so we've got one more barn to look in and i am super excited to look around this corner oh my god there are more tractors in here i don't think there's any cars there's no more cars but we've got two more tractors this looks like another ferguson is it 135. What's 
this in there? Oh, it's like a little toolbox. That's really cool. This is definitely a Ferguson, 100%. Maisie Ferguson 135 Mark III. Wow, this is absolutely incredible. It really is. To be honest, this one looks in really, really good condition. Definitely still usable, 100%. We've got a couple more bits of machinery in here. This one's actually got like a V-twin motor on it. Squeeze past here. Just want to check out what's at the other end. Got a pretty cool chair out there. <laughs> and we've got this old cooker. That's pretty cool. Oh wow, we've got a piano there as well. And an old mountain bike. Oh, I don't know if I can get any closer than that. Oh, I'll squeeze around here, that's fine. Oh, that's pretty cool. That looks like it's from the 90s. Really, really old, that. And again, we've got something else there. I don't know what that is, if that's some kind of a muck spreader or something. But, um, wow. <laughs> I had no idea all of this was here today. Completely unexpected. Definitely, definitely one of the best barn finds that I've ever found. I just hope that those cars don't go to ruin and they get saved, all, all their own, you know, their owner is still around and he has intentions of, of saving them. Because at the moment, I mean, this whole place is, you know, it's completely abandoned. There, there is just, there's nothing here. So, um, yeah, let's just hope, fingers crossed. Right, guys, I think it's time to make a move now. We have pretty much seen everything there is to see here. I just really hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did filming it and showing you guys. So please subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore, and go and check out the Facebook page because all the pictures that I've taken from this site today, I'll upload to that page, and I'll see you on the next Explore soon.